Hello YouTube, we're here today taking a look at the new character creation process that's going to be coming in Mist the Pandaria. I do like the changes that they've made. It's a lot more streamlined, and the interface itself is actually a lot neater. Instead of having the character class options in the lower left-hand corner, they've moved that over to the right in its own little contained area. You do have the option to bring up the class info the background to the character and whatnot. Most of the time you really won't need that unless you are interested, but they do have it minimized and you can pull it up. I do like this where they have the uh, some of the tier armor on the characters. It is a lot better to look at than just the bland starter armor. I mean, aside from the Death Knight, which did have a pretty cool uh, basic set of gear but it does make things a lot more interesting. <clears throat> so here we're going to go make a Dwarf Paladin. Now there is an issue with some of the textures on the uh, display models over there, but I do like this new interface. It allows you to use the scroll wheel as opposed to just clicking on the arrows going back and forth. Hopefully they get the issues fixed where you can actually see the skin tone and, and whatnot with it, as well as the facial features here. It's really hard to distinguish what's what with the little frames here on the right hand side. Now one of the things I wish they would include is the ability to use the hair options from the barber shop right off the bat. Because it would be nice to be able to do that, use those hairstyles without having to go to the barber shop. You get your character the way you want it right off the bat. Once again, this I, I do like these changes. It's very streamlined. Much easier to go through as opposed to just clicking the arrows on the tab. And it's a lot more in-depth. It's It gives you more options, it, it gives you more complex options, yet it also remains simple, which is a good thing to do. And it made it nice and balanced. And of course, my name's unavailable. So let's just go through with another one. It's so one thing I wish they would do, give you a either a little check here on the bottom or whatever to kind of check to see like, oh, name's available, name's not available. Like they do with some websites. I'm sure technology can't be that difficult to build in. But there you go. There is my pre-made level 85 paladin. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you liked all the beta content I'm bringing out, don't forget to subscribe.